All right, THQ, come on. I actually r really like the THQ uh, Nordic streams, so I, I have a feeling this is going to be good. Because they ne they never have, like, huge games, you know, but they they always have, like, pretty... They, they, their stuff is usually, like, quality in some form. Okay, so this is the pre-show that's starting with... That's why we're starting 10 minutes before I actually... Who? Mandy Games. Yo, a Mandy... Oh, no, Handy. I'm sorry, I can't read. <laughs> yes, that's Handy Games pre-show. What is Handy Games? What's up, Jeb Whiskers? What's up, everybody? Uh, sorry if I don't look at the chat too much. Oh, it's again... Please don't do this, like, stream stutter thing. Let me know if uh, the audio is good. It should be fine, but I don't know. It might actually be a little low. Oh, this is definitely gonna get me hit. Come on, bum 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy, uh, you know what? I'm gonna turn this down. <laughs> Sorry. You go. The audio was good. Yeah. Pierre and Folly love it. What? I'm on your chat, Gort. You enjoy the show. Oh, thanks. Everybody's banned. <laughs> like, shit! <laughs> it's... Is this all the handy games? Games? What is that, Ratatouille? Got a little Ratatouille game? What is that, Secret of Nim? Alright, so this is the handy game showcase. <laughs> which is eight minutes long, so... Get to it. I didn't even know what Handy Games was. Oh, that's how. Welcome to the Handy Games. Okay, I just literally do. My name is Handy Nine Thousand. Oh, well, Handy Nine Thousand. I don't know what to use you for. Twenty Twenty Four. There are <laughs> yeah. new entries. You're a close follower, the love. Early access game, odds parks, and automation adventure. Commit what do you hope will be not to Gamescom? Honestly, just I, 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 I hate, I hate even thinking about it right now. I, I'll have to think about it getting closer to when it happens and I'll do a predictions but I hope we see some Doom Eternal I'll be nice I mean a Doom uh, Dark Ages Odd Sparks okay. I'm afraid I can't let you masturbate Gord no no I'm like I'm like crucified so I can't fucking, I can't touch it no! Well, this adorable little game is playing. Talk about crucifying me. Just make it so that I don't jerk it. Sorry to the developers of this game. Uh, coming this month? Okay. Oh, no, no. The game's already out. Next big I update. I've never heard of this game, so. This data entry. Would you like to proceed? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a, <laughs> that was a wild moment in the... Bad movie. Is it coming to consoles? Is that what? Yeah, there you go. All right, play the demo. Now. All right, cool. I've never heard of this, but it looks kind of cool. All right. Our next entry is. What's up, Cody? Performing system diagnostic. Get on my hand. Get my hand, man. Countermeasures initiated. Yo, where's the smiling Agents friends game? You shut up, I'll Lethal you Honor, what okay? It all started with that blood shit head, Aaron. Oh, Genji's in. I ripped off that idiot's head like nobody's business, you know. Killing humans used to be fun. But there were so many, they just didn't stop planning. Over and over. Roguelike, obviously. But they came up with something new every time. They poisoned me. I think I like this art style. I think I do. The, you know, it's weird. The herky jerky animations always like. It's either they work or they don't. I think it's working for me though. I don't mind it. Oh yeah, Smiling Friends game would be great. A VR game, like what Rick and Morty did, that'd be great. I would love that. Uh, any games of note? There was actually a few this uh, year, actually. They released uh, quite a few. Uh, Alone in the Dark was one of them. Uh, the Outcast game. I 
forgot what else came out this year. There was like there was like one or two other ones. But we got that gothic remake. We got uh, that TMNT game. Could see SpongeBob here. They own SpongeBob rights for games. So SpongeBob might be here. I mean, it's been a couple years since the last game at this point, right? So, or no, was that the beginning of last year? Entry on human rituals. I think it was last year. Gathering discovered. Right, this right here is the Handy Games pre-show. This is another company, THQ Nordic owns. So, oh, Way of the Hunter. Oh, mobile. Oh, I didn't even know that existed. Unless this is them announcing it. Yeah, looks like a mobile game. Things cross with SpongeBob. Yeah, I, I I don't think South Park. Honestly, I feel like I feel like that last game was such a I don't know. It, it was so soon ago, and also it was such a turd. They might actually take device. their time. Hopefully, with a new Alarm. South Park game. Breach detected. Um, Vermin infestation. The THQ identified. showcase should be in four minutes. Hey, that tickles. No, don't oh. nibble on that cable. Oh no, she likes it. Matt the Rat, oh, here you go. the agile escape artist. Matt, the house mouse. I have something to show you. What is with the audio of the the voices? They sound really scratchy. Is that on purpose? Look at that. It is beautiful. I wonder what's out there. Now's the time to be a What scout. the hell is even that? I'm proud to show off to. It's a rat. Come on, rat quest. Right. Wait, isn't that, isn't that a smiling friend thing? Rat Quest 2? <laughs> is this Rat Quest 2? <laughs> or is that Rat's Adventure or something like that? <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna say this once, oh, thank you, Kane. Once. What the hell is even that? Sexy. Wait, oh, wait. This, this looks fine. Rat's Quest. Rat's Quest, sorry. Sorry. Oh, Rat's Quest. The way back home. Is it... Maybe... Is it just my... It, the audio does the voice audio sound weird daddy chill the hell is even that what's up monos handy 9000 start the world premiere I, I think that might be on my end because his voice also sounds a little the weird premiere it was mouse quest you're right handy 9000 do you read yeah I think, I think that's just this uh, stream I'm afraid I can't do that well, her voice doesn't sound no fuzzy handy 9000 approve content. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's just, whatever. Approve it. Yeah, it's just the voices. Her voice sounds Do fine. It. Do it now. No, 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 no. Possibly, yeah. I mean, when they announced it last year, it felt felt like they literally just decided they're gonna make that game that day because <laughs> didn't show anything really. I mean, they kind of did, but not really. World premiere. Oh, okay. Oh. Amanda the Adventurer 2. 3. That's not a THQ thing. Okay. Look at the little nose. Tattoo. I was not expecting that. Okay. Tattoo Tycoon. <laughs> okay. That's definitely a unique tycoon. I thought they were going to announce like some... Oh, this shit's going to rock your world. Here comes Judgment Day. That's fine. We all deserve it anyway. Dude, if I saw a nuke going off, I get to the nearest fence. Fuck that. Alright, so that was... Oh, Darksiders! Yes. 100% Darksiders. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Darksiders will be here. What the fuck? Alright. That was cool. Nice little idea to do like a pre-show. That's a, also another event. I don't know. It's not a tumor. Do it now. Put the cookie down. Now. Oh, your wife's cookies. Oh. <laughs> I love Phil Harmon in that movie. <laughs> Rest in peace. His bitch wife murdered him. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You gonna play Marvel Rivals again before? I think maybe... Saturday I will. So... Which today is... Is today Friday? Yeah, today's Friday. So tomorrow. <laughs> it's it's like I had to remember what fucking day it was. Have you seen Arnold's son from his... Yeah, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little weird. <laughs> yes, I have seen him. 
I mean, I haven't seen him since that affair thing happened. Because it was supposed to be his... The, 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 the maid's son. And it looks almost exactly like him. I was like, oh, that's... Well, that's weird. <laughs> I guess no one knew. Wow, you look exactly like Arnold. That's weird. He wants to pull a Sarah Connor with that. Yeah, of course. It is a tumor. And he gave me hope. Actually, at this point, Darksiders would be awesome. Um, besides Darksiders, I would love to see a Red Faction game. Uh, and uh, I would love to see that last Ronin game. I would love to see that. All right, here we go. Oh, Epic Mickey! That's right, that's them. That, we'll definitely see that. That's gothic. Oh, are we gonna see Outcast 2 stuff? Edge! I forgot. I forgot they did the, the AEW game. Yeah, the audio does sound weird. That's very strange. I wonder why that's happening. Uh, yeah, it's, it sounds a little fuzzy. Oh, destroy humans, yo! Oh, Path of the Furon remake would be such a great idea. Cause that game sucks ass. So no, remake it and make it good. In my head, I can fix it. Yeah. Maybe Alone in the Dark DLC? I, I don't know if that would be something anybody. Oh my god. They keep showing uh destroy humans. I'm assuming them showing these games makes will make sense after the showcase. It's literally mouse quest. <laughs> hey, Cody, I think you're a little behind. Uh, well, maybe you're not. Or unless you just saw the mouse quest game here, I guess. Huh? Or you talk about... Oh, maybe you talk about Epic Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> you're talking about Epic Mickey. Let the real festivity begin. Yeah, the audio is weird. All right, it's fine. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Is this, a, is this a logo or a game? <laughs> I don't know. This looks kind of cool. I think it's a logo, though. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. <laughs> loud words. Don't yeah, he was pretty loud. That was a reference. Under the surface, it was loud word. This place is so twisted, no hero could ever save it. Okay. Oh, I like this animation. Traps? Trap game. Trap game. Games of game of traps. What the fuck is this? That was a sick animation. I love this. Actually. I give massive shout out to anybody that does T 2D. Oh no, our buddy! What we're just following the hotel diamond and he just dies? This sucks, bro. Life finds what? Is no hero. <laughs> Probably an old guy? Or a monkey? I can't no, it's an old guy. Yo, he bounces off his cane? Yo, is this what- is this up to? This is what he was doing on that plant- that, uh, that island. He goes back to the island and fucking conquers it, bro. Ooh, I like that little pogo stick uh, cane action going on. Oh, Legacy of Kane remastered. Does THQ... Do, do they own that? I, was that Square Enix that used to do Legacy of Kane? Or... Shit, who, wait, who did Legacy of Kane? That'd be sick. They announced that here. I would love that, because those games are so sick. The stories in those games are amazing. This game looks really good. This ain't Bubsy. Nah, bro. Fuck Bubsy. You got an old guy. It's Crystal Dynamics. Okay. Which Square Enix owned at one point, so. Dr. Gilbert says the people and I know, he okay. for can never really That's probably why I was thinking that. Is that true? <laughs> it sure is. He's now owned by Embracer. It's gonna be here, because THQ is owned by Embracer, so. Or. I think they are. It'll be here. Oh, I just said, God damn. The Eternal Life of Goldman. Okay, that looks kinda cool. Yeah, animation-wise, look great. Makes sense why uh, they started off with that 2D animation. Gothic. No, okay. Next one's gonna be gothic. No.
What? Croissant? Little marshmallow thing? With... What the hell? Oh! Okay. I've heard of space for sale. Okay. I think they showed that last year. Okay, it's early access now. Okay. Bio Mutant? Yo, Bio Mutant 2, that'd be sick. I actually have no idea how long the showcase will be. I think uh, most THQ Nordics are around 40 minutes long, so I'm going to assume the same for this one. I'm just going to assume that. Space for sale. Okay. Oh, itchy forehead. Not that long, but really girthy. Oh, okay. Well, I like a girthy stream, so that's fine. Ah, here it is. There he is. That Mickey boy. So they're going to show more of the actual game. Because they haven't really shown too much gameplay, right? Alright, cutscene. I do like this, uh... This look. I wonder if they'll go around the remaking Epic Mickey 2 or they just go call it quits with one. Okay. I know we've seen a little bit of gameplay, but we haven't seen like a ton. Looking pretty good. Fun little game. God, it is like night and day between this and the Wii version, let me say. <laughs> Because in my mind's eye, I see it like this. But then you go back and actually look at it, it's like, oh my god, I look like an N64 game. <laughs> it's... Oh, new trailer for Murder Jones? Okay, I'll watch it after this. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't even remember this at all. Is this new? I don't remember this. I mean, I haven't played it since it came out, to be fair, so. <laughs> the plane, the. That's nice. Iron Man dies. Morbius dies. Don't, don't kid. Exclusive costume pack. Oh, you get 24. Dude, every games need to stop doing that. I'm, I'm getting a little annoyed. Now this game has a 24-hour early access thing? Come on. September 24th. Dude, September has so many remasters coming out. Oh, is this Reco Recolution or whatever the hell it's called? Reco... I don't know. The God damn it. This is just the logo again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I'm assuming that has to do with the next... Yeah. Rec... What is it called? Recolution? Reco... Reco something. Oh, wait, no. I think this is Wreckfest. Recreation, thank you. Bad. This might be just Wreckfest, then. Sick, because I really liked Wreckfest 1. I haven't seen you this scarred since last September. Yeah, September 11th. Come on, move it! Get out of my way, jerk! Maybe I overreacted a bit too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hurt you so much. Yeah, Look Wreckfest 2. I think it's Wreckfest 2. Which that's actually kind of hype because the first game is really good. Get out of my way! <laughs> damn it, now what? I'm pretty sure Bugbear were the people that made Wreckfest. the wrong guy, buddy! Next time? <laughs> I, I promise. <laughs> I'll treat you better. Not to lose my temper. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a dark. Uh... God damn it! <laughs> Out of the way! Dude. I'm driving like my grandma. She's six feet under. Move it! You take that piece and throw it under. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, I like that trailer. That was really good. Oh, Wreckfest 2, baby! Oh, feels like something came out between the seat! Oh. <laughs> Wait, was it? 
<laughs> that means someone went up your ass? <laughs> Some came out through the seat? <laughs> this has to be gothic. I actually like these custom made, uh... Interstitial little things. Yeah. You mean told me. I said Wreckfest before you did. I bet. Oh, this is a Titan Quest too. Yeah, this is Wreckfest right here. Uh, there's a little juddery to the stream right now. Titan Quest? No, what do you mean no? Check the tape. I am wondering where that rec uh, recreation game is. I wonder if we'll see that here. Titan Quest 1 it was, was fun. It's a fun little just... Diablo-esque. This, it was this, pretty much. You're on a playback of tape. <laughs> Good. Be proved wrong. Did they cancel it? Are you sure? That would be crazy, because I showed that, like, I think they showed it last year also. Uh, yeah, well, there's a lot of games that rip off of Diablo, but this is a this is a rip off of Diablo, but it has like the gods and stuff. So you got Zeus and shit. You're a Spartan and stuff. I'm going by what I remember of the first game. I'm pretty sure they re-released re the first game on uh, Xbox and PS4. Battle mythical monsters. I mean, even though the, the compression on the stream is bad and it's stuttering, I can tell it looks pretty good graphically. Well, God of War isn't really a Diablo game, but yeah, sure. Titan Quest! Is that this year? Look at that big ass space. Oh, what the fuck? Look how much blank space there is. Put a date. It says 2024, though, in the credits. I mean, the copyright. Alright. Is this gothic? I don't know. I've never played gothic, so I wouldn't really know from this. This looks like it might be. Yeah, the compression on this stream is really bad. It looks... Yeah, it, I'm watching on... Yeah, go there. yeah, this is gothic. There's no way this is not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were doing the last run, and they announced that at the, the end of, Mines, an immense of uh, the last stream. For the war against the orcs, the only undefeated enemies of the kingdom of Mertana, the king needed ore to supply. No, I think it canceled last so run. Every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant. Was forced to work in At least the I didn't hear that. If that did happen, I'd be upset. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out his best magicians to create a magical barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed Sick. the creation of the barrier, trapping everyone inside. The convicts revolted and took control of the colony. They divided into three camps. The old camp is satisfied with the current situation. As long as they deliver the ore, the king supplies them with everything they need. This voice sounds very familiar. The new camp, however, thinks they can use Who the ore this? to blow up the barrier. And then there is the sect from the swamp. They believe that a mysterious the deity of the sleeper. will free them from their prison. Okay. Thus begins your journey in the open world of the Valley of Mines. Creating Gothic Remake, we focus on the four pillars that we consider the core of the series. Simulation of a living world, exploration, story, Yeah, this is the first time they're really combat. showing straight-up gameplay, though. Like the original 2001 title, Gothic Remake is set on creating up, an Sammy? immersive and realistic yeah, everybody, world. Everybody's sleeping in the chat. <laughs> Enjoy a complex life simulation on a scale yeah, yeah, the way you've ever seen before like in a video game. Sure. During the day, oh, the that page turn was the really good. carry out a variety of activities. While nature, rich in all its diversity, lives out its own rhythm. All this gives the impression that this world can exist without the player. 
Explore the colony okay. on your own and enjoy the unprecedented freedom this open world offers. Reminds me, I need to play more True Dragon's RPG Dogma fashion. too. You decide when and where you go next. Because I, I heard Gothic gets a little hardcore. Understand their inner motivations and earn their respect <laughs> by Sounds like he's narrating animal documentary. Quests. How you solve or handle their problems depends entirely on your Does choices. Does it look a little no jerky, a little order, janky? Or if you do anything jerky, all, janky. The game will always <laughs> my high school appropriately nickname, to your oh. decisions. Experience yeah. a complex yeah, be... and demanding combat system with satisfying character progression. Yeah. Overcome your opponents <laughs> using a variety of melee weapons. <laughs> Eliminate oh, them damn, from get a fucking ragdolled. Or learn Idiot. the arcana of magic. Remember that each type of weapon behaves differently. Fireless frigate. But its effectiveness depends on training. We're aware that when creating a remake, it does make it look it very to the slow. The action, like a, in fans. a more However, strategic way, I guess, kind of like a Dark Souls movie. By telling new stories from the colony and expanding on those that oh, they gave it a new show, the TMNT show, in two decades. Cool. They didn't give us seven? No way. They give everything a seven. We're also focusing our attention on enhancing many aspects of gameplay, such as diverse NPC routines and reactions, more complex crafting, and more rewarding character progression. Dude, they announced this game like three years time, ago, so... Gothic remains in the hearts and minds of many players, with the possibilities of Unreal Engine 5 yeah, well, and a variety of modern This features. is a big thing for people, Gothic big goth... I mean, this, for the big Gothic fans, it's probably Whether like, Oh my god, it's looking great! I never played Gothic. I'll give it I'll give this a chance, RPG though. Experience. Especially since it looks like it's Welcome going really dark fantasy. Is this coming out this year? Are you gonna give any date? No. No date? No date. No date. I guess next year. My guess is next year. People love Gothic, I know that. At least the early ones, I think. Uh... Yeah, de Dead Meat, maybe in the future. Like, it has to be something I'm really interested in. As this uh, Call of the Hunter, or the hell it's called. Is this the mobile game we just saw? Because I don't think the graphics look all that great on the animals. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Yeah, they were definitely going for like the cyberpunk or the Grand Theft Auto style marketing with Gothic Remake. I don't think it really worked because, I mean, it might. I need to see it in higher quality, though. I feel like they need to show just straight up gameplay first and then did something like that because they haven't really shown gameplay in the past. They showed like I guess kind of gameplay last year, but not really. I think it was in engine, but it wasn't gameplay. Okay. As soon as it's called the wild or the call of the hunter, yeah, there you go. I've heard this game is pretty fun. People like it. So, be like a uh, shooting animals like a sick fuck. Me, I just like murdering tons of Nazis instead. <laughs> Yo, when's the next Wolfenstein game? Man, fuck this Indiana Jones shit. He's not even gonna kill that many Nazis compared to BJ. My boy BJ. Yeah, he about to get got. Get ready to see the Lord. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Lintu Kutu Reserve? I think I tried. Yeah, <laughs> Firewatch. Yeah, that's a crazy Firewatch re remake right there. Ooh, this looks scary. Blair Witch Two. Book of Shadows. All right, let's see what this is. Dark Siders, maybe. Oh. oh, is that a little nightmares? Yeah, I didn't mean, is THQ make it, uh, publishing Little Nightmares? I think that's the company that makes Little Nightmares, so. Oh my god. 
Oh, ew! How? It's coming. Ew! I don't want to know that. Or it's coming. I think so. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not them. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll watch it after this unsalted. Someone already told me. Thank you, though. It is stinky. Oh, no way. That's not it. Is that it? Because it... Was that the big reveal at the end? Because that was kind of weak, if that's it. Okay. Okay, so the August 20th, that's Gamescom, isn't it? What the hell is this? Dark Sires? Dark Change? <laughs> I mean, they're building up to something. It's obviously something. Dark, Dark Sires? Horseman! Oh! Yep, it is! 100%. Yeah, come on. They, they just they just thought of making a new game. Was that Was that on my end? <laughs> as of today, uh, as the 23 games that therefore 13 on announced after the show. Thank you for watching. Okay, so new Dark Sires game, but that's it. Oh, there you go. It just died. Wait, did they really end the stream like that? <laughs> All right, that was really short. Okay, hey, you know what? Yeah, that was it though. Horseman. I like to even say. Yeah, you did call it. Shoutouts. Uh. Oh man, that was really that was that was I I don't know that was that was really short. I don't know. Okay, they still have thirteen unannounced games. It's weird, because they always announce their games way before they should, so, I, I mean, at this point, you might as well just announce the other 13, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that was a good ending, though, I will say. And also, that game from Tar Tarsier, I don't think they're making Low Nightmares 3, thinking about it. I'm pretty sure those are the guys that did the first two, but they're not making the third one, right? Um, so that's cool. Alright, if they showed a full trailer for that, and then also had the Darksiders announcement and, uh, uh, and Wreckfest 2, I think that would have been fine. The gothic long thing, and if they showed a release date for that, then it would have been good. I feel like there could have been some more. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not the best. I mean, Wreckfest 2. Hey, Wreckfest 1 is a great game. I love Destruction Derby style games. So that game's great. It actually makes me want to play that again, because I haven't played the uh, next-gen version. I actually played it when it was on PC. So it was like one of the first things I played with uh, on my old new PC. The one before this one I have. Um, my old new PC. But, um... Inside 2. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Inside 2. I mean, that looked disgusting. Also, it looked, I'm assuming it's going to be rated M. Because the other little Nightmare games aren't rated M, I don't think. They're rated T. So, that, I mean, just showing the guts coming out of the pig, I'm assuming that's... It's not going to... It's going to be M, I would assume. I don't think it's a big deal. Um... But, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, on st stream now, um, I think, it, uh, yeah, I guess we could just watch on stream now, I guess. Why not? Dude, the Murder Drones series is really confusing. But anyway, that was the THQ Nordic stream. I guess I'll watch, um, the Murder Drones, uh, thing right now. So there you go, that's that. Uh, let me end the recording.